The overall goal of our work is better housing and living conditions to make better science. The transition to next generation non-animal risk assessment. To be able to test drugs in a more human relevant system. The research into animal testing has the goal to make science better. We are currently here at the German Center for the Protection of Laboratory Animals at the German Federal Institute for Risk Assessment. We are doing research and development to increase and strengthen animal welfare. We develop and research on alternative methods to animal experiments according to the three R's. You have three approaches to improve the animal welfare. One is that you refine the conditions under which the animal lives. The second is the reduction of animal experiments in the sense of better planning. And the third is the replacement, so that you have a model that is almost as good or even better than the animal model itself. I'm a behavioral biologist and I'm working on the term refinement. So refining housing and living conditions and testing conditions of the mice. We have test setups where we have two cages connected and they can move from one cage to the other. We try to include the test into the home environment of the mice and we don't have to open the cage and pick the animals out of the test. We don't want to observe animals that are disturbed in their, in their health system. Good animal welfare is a prerequisite for good science. The major work of our work is research and development to understand how we can create test methods which are at the end animal free. What we try to achieve is to simulate the human body in a very small scale, in a very small window, like uh, the human bone environment. My work is um, the establishment of a so-called bone on a chip. It's a small device that has a certain capability. For example, we can lower oxygen saturation, but we also can apply mechanical loading. The goal of our work is to have a model for formation of new bone that is um, so close to reality that the data that we get from these experiments uh, is really comparable to the real situation, for example, in the human body. In my group, we are working with uh, human cancer cells. Cancer research is a field where a very large number of animal experiments are done. We are very interested in the precise localization of single molecules, and therefore we are using the palm storm technology. Endocrine active substances may promote tumorigenesis. And when we know these underlying molecular mechanisms, then we are able to derive alternative and complementary methods for animal testing. We established breast cancer cell lines that showed morphology change of the shape of cell contacts upon presence or absence of estrogen. We optimized this assay with the robot. So we can do all the pipetting with the robot in a high throughput manner. The substance we identify may be the new drugs involved in breast cancer therapy, and on another way, they may be promote breast cancer. In this way, we can identify or finding the mechanisms of breast cancer development. I'm optimizing in vitro test system by restoring the circadian uh, rhythm in cell culture. I'm using the dexamethasone method and putting on the cells and I incubate them for like an hour and then they all have like the same oscillation and they have all the same rhythmicity. It's more like what is happening in the human. I was searching for a PhD position after my master. It was very important for me to not do animal experiments. Then I saw the PhD position here at BFR. I personally really, really like it here. The working atmosphere is really nice. You have a one-to-one -one mentoring, helping you with all your science to develop your, your ideas. The German Center for the Protection of Laboratory Animals is working on the international level. And therefore, it's so important that we have colleagues from all over the world here. Different expertise coming from different disciplines. We are not only doing research and development, we are advising institutions worldwide and also regulatory bodies worldwide. We are the most important member involved in OECD, this test guideline program. So we provide expert knowledge to uh, evaluate and develop new test methods. Our goal is really to have a final, the same method on global level. 
In 2019, we started the so-called Animal Study Registry, which can be used by every scientist worldwide to increase the animal welfare aspect, but also the quality of science. It is so important to work in this field, and especially in this scientific area. It's a moral and ethical question, but it's very challenging to develop new technologies to address fundamental biological and biochemical and physiological questions.